Explosive Twitter exchange, Oscar de la Hoya lashes out at Ryan Garcia and asks, are you still crying? In a heated Twitter confrontation, Oscar de la Hoya and Ryan Garcia, promoter and boxer, unleashed the tension that has been building between them in recent weeks. De La Hoya addressed his absence from the post-fight press conference following Ryan's bout with Gervonta Davis, where Garcia suffered a defeat. De La Hoya blamed Ryan himself and his advisor, Lupe Valencia, for accepting the rehydration clause. What's up, Ryan Garcia? It's been almost two months, and are you still crying about the post-fight press conference? The blame for your defeat lies with you and your advisor, Lupe Valencia. He's the one who pushed you to accept that crazy rehydration clause, and that is the reason you lost. Grow up. Take responsibility for that, tweeted De La Hoya on Thursday night. A minute later, De La Hoya followed up with another tweet, discussing the alleged support that Gervonta Davis received from his promoter. Furthermore, you keep claiming that Tank's team offered you more support than me, blah, blah, blah. They set you up with that rehydration clause, and most importantly, A.L. Heyman never showed up the entire week. In fact, he never shows up. Do you think that's support? De La Hoya tweeted. Quickly, Ryan Garcia responded to Oscar De La Hoya's criticism with a touch of irony. All right, buddy, you have it all figured out. I'm tired of you disrespecting me throughout my entire career and thinking none of it matters. Loyalty and common sense have been lost in your head. Stop treating people that way and thinking they'll just accept it, Ryan Garcia replied on Thursday night from his Twitter account. A couple of minutes later, Ryan Garcia made another accusation against Oscar de la Hoya for his close relationship with Raleigh Romero. You know I'm about to fight him and you're acting like his best friend. You don't care about your fighters. I'm tired of all this fakeness. Stop acting and be real for once in your life. I might respect you more if you just told me the truth, but you're only motivated by money. I don't like you, Ryan tweeted. De La Hoya responded in the comments to that tweet, stating that he's simply doing his job by seeking that closeness with Raleigh Romero. He also mentioned his actions to ignite fight promotions, as he did at the press conference during the week of the Gervonta Davis fight. It's called promotion. Who do you think lit up the press conference during fight week when everything seemed like a funeral? My job is to promote fights, and your job is to fight. I don't like you either, De La Hoya replied. Ryan had another tweet in response within the same thread, Addressing the issue that sparked the tension, the proposed fight between Ryan and Manny Pacquiao that De La Hoya suggested despite Ryan's refusal. Weren't you promoting the fake fight with Pacquiao that I already told you I wouldn't accept? Do you think I'm going to fall for that lie twice? Ryan replied. Finally, De La Hoya concluded the discussion in the comments. I'm not going to argue on social media. When you have time, We'll sit down, man to man, and get you another huge payday, De La Hoya concluded. What are your thoughts on the public exchange between Oscar De La Hoya and Ryan Garcia on Twitter? Do you think the blame falls on one of them, or is there shared responsibility? Leave your opinion in the comments and share your perspective on this tense situation in the world of boxing. If you enjoyed this content on the latest news in the boxing world, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel for more updates, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss our upcoming videos. We would also love to read your comments and opinions on the discussion between De La Hoya and Garcia. Thank you for your support.